Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. We had like horrendous winds last night. It was just wild. But uh, calm down today. So it's about zero degrees. Good day to make some bags. Going to do a few things today. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get all the bags I got to make. I got to make about eight or nine bags. Nothing too crazy. Then uh, we got an advent tree that we built last year. So <clears throat> if you're new and you haven't looked back to the videos, I did a couple videos on it. And uh, it was just a, it's just a big <clears throat> plywood tree with a like 25 <clears throat> light bulb sockets on it. And every night the kids screw in a, a light bulb. So we got to build a stand for that today. And then, uh, but Corey and the kids, they already took off this morning. So I'm not sure when they'll get back. <clears throat> also yesterday, I got a little bit click happy with the old auction sale. So I bought this blade. Now, <clears throat> the reason, and this is kind of neat the way things fit. So this blade was on a skid steer. So the company that, it was an oil field company, they, they had this attachment made, which is really cool. It pins right on. Uh, and this, this blade actually will fit right onto our 4440. So our 4440 has a 10 foot blade, Degelman. This is a 12 foot Degelman. And this is actually a heavy duty blade. That one's just a standard blade. But <clears throat> about three years ago, I bought a quick attach adapter for this backhoe. So it can take all the skid steer attachments. So now we've bought uh, a rotavator. We bought these pallet forks. We bought... My dad made the bucket quick connect. He made a bracket for that. We bought uh, brush grapple. And now my plan is to take that 12 foot blade and put it on this 4440 tractor. And I'll show you why I wanted another blade. Because this tractor does all the snow plowing around the yard. We don't have a four wheel drive tractor. And we find, uh, you know, with the fluid and the tires and everything, it's heavy enough to Look at the coolant. What the heck's going on here? Get out of town. I'll have to check into that. It's still dripping. What? All right, maybe we won't be making bags right away. Oh, what the heck is going on here? It's like a hole in that. Or... Anyways, back to the blade. So, this is only a 10 foot blade, standard duty. I'm not exactly sure what the difference was, but it's quite broken up. So, this piece is all bent and it's been welded on a few times. It's just done a lot of work. These, uh, these pins, it's a manual adjust, like you can angle it manually, but they're all bent. So it really is straight. Plus <clears throat> the cutting edge was worn out so bad before it got replaced that it actually peeled part of the blade and then actually made it kinked a little bit back so still works still works for pushing snow but uh of course 12 feet better than 10 would be just a little bit bigger and uh what i'll be able to do is take that quick attach piece off of that stick it onto this blade and then i'll be able to use this blade on the backhoe and i'll be able to put the 12 foot blade on the tractor so that was the whole idea behind that but I guess first thing I got to do here before I get going is find out where this coolant is leaking out of the tractor. It looks like it's down in here. Well, I guess always something. I, um, I got my head shoved in here. It looks like it's actually the seal on the water pump. So I, uh, I guess no bags today. I'll give John Deere a call, see if they got a water pump, and we'll uh, we'll get to changing it. I guess no point in no point in delaying. Well, that's funny. I I did a bunch of looking. I was gonna try to grab this fan blade and spin it, but right, of course, the belts are tight. What I didn't think to do was rock it side by side. So yeah, that water pump's finished. That is uh. That is a no, a no go situation. <clears throat> okay, so that's just the way it is in egg, right? I mean, 
Within five minutes, my plan of making bags, getting that advent tree over here, building a stand for it, uh, instantly went to fixing the water pump. So uh, I'm not sure if there's a, supposed to be any wiggle here at all, but I know there can't be this much because the fan blades don't even run through when it's wiggling like that. And I could see the coolant dripping out of the, I could see it dripping out. So it's obviously this. I did this water pump, I don't know, maybe six years ago. It was another thing I got from Allstate's egg parts. Absolutely amazing. But I phoned my John Deere dealer just now because I want it. I don't have the time to wait. So I don't know if you can see in there, it's still dripping. Like that's, that can't be, right? We can't run it like that. And we won't because you can't treat your stuff like that. So water pump is going to All right, so the, uh, I think that only took about an hour from start to finish to get the water pump out. And uh, I gotta take a couple more pieces off. You always wanna make sure you get your, uh, <clears throat> any accessories, right? So this held a cable, this piece has gotta come out. I don't think it'll be on the new one. This part for the alternator, you gotta take all that stuff off because it may or may not be on the new one. So. There's kits and stuff you can buy. We kind of find that that's really not our area of expertise, rebuilding this kind of stuff. So we uh, 
what am I trying to say? It, it's better for us just to get the new one. Like by the time we buy the kit, buy the bearings, buy the seals, take it apart, put it back together. <clears throat> oftentimes you'll find that maybe there's some corrosion in here that uh, that actually caused it to, to fail or whatever. So it, it's just better that we find, because <clears throat> we're not experts at it, to get the new one, ship this out. They give you, I think, 60 bucks for the core. They can send it off to whoever rebuilds them. They can look at them, look them over, see if it's worth rebuilding or whatever. Uh, use the housing, use the shafts, whatever, and, and get it cleaned up and, and build a new one properly for the next guy. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, just waiting for Corey to get back. I think she had a hair appointment or something. So that takes over. Oh, my glove. Oh, it, just, it fell glove side down. Winner, winner. Or finger side down, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take those accessories off of there, and then I'm gonna grab the the mop and start mopping up my mess because. Ugh. And then actually, while I'm waiting, I might take this blade off. So <clears throat> earlier in the video, I talked about why we should upgrade. So see this crack here. Uh, this blade is actually kind of beat to heck, and uh, <clears throat> it can be fixed. It can be welded. It's just metal. But uh, generally, the times a guy wants to work in the shop are the times it's snowy and miserable outside and you should be outside plowing snow. On a day like today, aside from the water pump, you'd be outside uh, making feed and doing things outside. So you never, in, unless it's the summer, you never actually get around to fixing this. So having bought that uh, other blade at the auction sale yesterday, I'll be able to leave this in here in the magic shop. And I expect it'll be a project for my dad. He can, uh, cause he, he likes to do that. It takes a lot of time and gets it all straight again. And <clears throat> and and gets it all repaired see this pinholes all buggered up and everything else so it needs some work but anyways i could ramble on forever and i'm not going to do that i'm gonna take this parts off i'm gonna mop the floor and then uh, probably take this blade off good evening so it's now seven we just got back to the farm uh day didn't go as planned really i had phoned john deere right away when i seen that water pump was leaking they said they had a complete one so i brought the tractor in boom took it out Took all the stuff off of it and uh, they had sent me a diagram and like, yeah, we have a complete one. So, you know, and it was supposed to include the hub. So we got in there with my old one and I said, uh, let's look at the new one, make sure everything's there. Opened it up, sure enough, didn't have a hub on it. You would have thought that's something they could do like a split being right at their shop, but it took them like three hours to get this done. So they close at five, around 4.58 they come they come out of the back with it completed and they're like, yeah, we got it. So good for them, I guess they got it. Cost me like 600 and some dollars. Uh, you know, when I knew better, this thing at, from Allstate's egg parts complete, cause I got one from them before is like $230 Canadian, maybe $150 shipping or so. So yeah, you're still well under that 680 bucks or whatever they charged me. But I'm not gonna knock them too much because they did get it. So it took them all day and I'm not gonna get it in tonight, but at least tomorrow morning I can put this in right away. I don't know why I'm holding this bag. Uh, so yeah. Whew. I'm sure, uh, well the video was long enough anyways, just taking it out. So anyways, to all of you who are watching, thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow when we install the water pump. Uh, so we'll see you all tomorrow.